what is Blackout Tuesday? Despite everything we have been doing with Adam versus the man to bring you the latest on what's going on in this country and around the world, especially in this past week of protests in response to the killing of George Floyd, it did not come to our attention until just this morning. But finally, it is getting around, and I am grateful for the opportunity to bring you the special edition of Adam versus the Man to answer the question, what is Blackout Tuesday? Well, starting with Wikipedia, Blackout Tuesday is a collective action originally started by elements of the music industry to protest racism and police brutality. The action, organized in response to the killings of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor is taking place on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. That's today. Businesses taking part are encouraged to abstain from releasing music and other business operations. Background. The call to action was initiated by music executives Breonna Agumang and Jamila Thomas, Senior Director of Marketing at Atlantic Records. Businesses are participating in different manners. Black Americans are asked to not buy or sell on this day to show economic strength and unity. Spotify announced it would be adding an eight minute and 40 second moment of silence to certain podcasts and playlists for the day. On Instagram, users participate by posting a single photo of a black square alongside the hashtag Blackout Tuesday. Actions promoted. Organizations supporting Blackout Tuesday suggest this day can be an opportunity for reflection on racism and the effects of it on society. Others suggest it is an opportunity to take time from work to focus on helping others. Other hashtags. Some users have posted the black square image using the hashtag Black Lives Matter or hashtag BLM, an abbreviation of the former, which in turn leads users who are searching these hashtags to nothing but blank images. Because the Black Lives Matter related hashtags are being used by activists and others to share information during the ongoing protests, posting a black square with the incorrect hashtag risk, drowning out critical information and updates. So we go now to the show must be paused dot com for the origins of this some critical background in this call to action and while the show must be paused as a hashtag is being used to refer to this website in particular obviously the hashtag that has taken over that is actually the one being shared and used for this specifically is Blackout Tuesday. From the show must be paused.com in response to the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and countless other black citizens at the hands of police, the show must be paused is an initiative created by two black women in music in observance of the long standing racism and inequality that exists from the boardroom to the boulevard. We will not continue to conduct business as usual without regard for black lives. Tuesday, June 2nd is meant to intentionally disrupt the work week. Monday suggests a long weekend, and we can't wait until Friday for change. It is a day to take a beat for an honest, reflective, and productive conversation about what actions we need to collectively take to support the black community. The music industry is a multi-billion dollar industry, an industry that has profited predominantly from black art. Our mission is to hold the industry at large, including major corporations and their partners who benefit from the efforts, struggles, and successes of black people accountable. To that end, it is the obligation of these entities to protect and empower the black communities that have made them disproportionately wealthy in ways that are measurable and transparent. This is not just a 24 hour initiative. We are and will be in this fight for the long haul. A plan of action will be announced. We are tired and can't change things alone. In the meantime, to our black friends and family, please take the time for you and your mental health. 
To our allies, the time is now to have difficult conversations with family, friends, and colleagues. Please follow at pause the show on Twitter and at the show must be paused on Instagram for updates and information. Signed Jamila Thomas and Brianna Agamani. I hope that's how you pronounce that. The show must be paused.com. What can you do on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020? Let's get this list up here, please, CJ. If you have been impacted by the recent events, take a break. There's a lot going on, and sometimes we all just need a minute. Take that minute. Help the family of George Floyd here, and there's a link. Fight for Breonna Taylor here, and there's a link. Help the family of Ahmed Arbery here with a link. Want to help protesters donate to one or more community bail funds here. And as we showed you yesterday, the scenes of police brutality rampant against protesters of all colors in the last few days has just been stomach churning to see the least, to say the least, to see protesters shoved into cement by officers for no good reason, to see police cars plow through crowds of protesters with no justification, officers spraying protesters with pepper spray while driving through crowds with their vehicles. Unacceptable. There's certainly a lot of people right now who are doing righteous work and protesting who deserve your support, who deserve uh, bail support, who deserve legal support, who deserve the attention to their cause that is currently being drowned out. Visit Movement for Black Lives for additional ways you can help the cause. Want to connect with leaders building grassroots campaigns? Click here. Are you an ally and want to learn more? Here are some anti-racism resources. So the other part of this theme is blacking out in general to focus on what matters. And in respect for that, we are going to be doing that with our show today, making this a short special edition of Adam versus the Man just to cover the show must be paused for blackout Tuesday and to recognize that this is one of those things that is worth stopping for. Absolutely. hundred percent. I would have thought that black lives matter would have been enough of a rallying cry to point out, Hey, the system operates like black lives don't matter. That should have been enough to wake people up. But no, the struggle for racial equality, for justice in general in this country, continues. And this is just one way that we can do this. So I encourage everyone today to focus on what's going on, especially around the George Floyd case with racism in America in general. To take the chance to examine your own life in ways that you contribute to this. And of course, if you're a, a listener of Adam versus the Man, you know that the greatest source of racism in the world today is government. If you're a racist in a world that has largely condemned racism, where do you hide? Behind a badge behind the color of law, as a bureaucrat, as a politician. And it is through this that all of the worst racism in our country is manifest through the police state. And I don't want people to fight. I'm not even a big fan of protests, really. Although this might be a time when they are worthwhile. I'm not a fan of confrontation, of yelling, or violence. I'm a fan of de-escalation and peace and progress. And right now, we are in a time of significant upheaval. Not just in the wake of the coronavirus, 
and the shutdowns and the forced unemployment crisis that we are still experiencing. But in this moment of global realization of how governments did pretty much everything to make this problem worse, and now we find ourselves in a new crisis, and we cannot allow ourselves to be misled from crisis to crisis to crisis. Fear will make you a slave. And we cannot allow ourselves to be bullied into submission. So I fully support this effort. I support taking this time to reflect to examine your own life, your own contributions, not just to racism, but all the injustices of the world. To focus on those who are suffering in America, especially in the black community. Yes, all lives matter, but the system doesn't exactly operate as if all lives don't matter. It operates as if black lives don't matter. And it's time to pause, acknowledge that, and end this crisis once and for all.